All right, pomegranate lovers, this is Ross. In today's video, we are talking about pomegranates and specifically a fungal problem that they can get called anthracnose. And that's what you see here on these pomegranates. It's in black, and these are two different varieties of pomegranates. Harvested them early because they have this fungal problem, and they probably will never ripen properly or get very sweet because of this issue. And so it only makes sense that when you grow pomegranates in humid areas like I am, this is going to be more of an issue. If you guys live in a really dry place that's hot, uh, like West Texas, Arizona, Southern California, or even just anywhere dry, you're not going to have anywhere near as much fungus in the area that you live. And so you probably will never see this. And that's kind of what I think pomegranates, that's where they're meant to be grown is in these dry places. You know, I'm here pushing my zone. I'm in a zone 7A trying to grow pomegranates, not only in pots, but also in the ground in different varieties in different locations of the yard. But it's also quite humid here. And pomegranates are definitely not meant, I think, to be grown in cold places, especially below zone 8 or zone 7B, and also in overly humid places. So that's what you end up seeing. And I've been seeing this disease, or this fungus, excuse me, for years on my pomegranates. And it's only really occurred to me that this is a really serious issue of certain varieties. There's a variety I have back here uh, that you can't necessarily see. These are four pomegranates, each of them in 10 gallon size pots and they're all really close together. So that's obviously not helping the fungus, but there is uh, more pomegranates back here and pretty much all of them on this tree. There are two left, oh, no, that one has it. So there's one left on this Parfianca pomegranate that does not have this problem. And so I would guess, uh, and I've basically been noticing this for years with the Parfianca, is that it almost always gets this fungus. Uh, and so this is just not a variety I think I would recommend to people in humid areas. Now maybe that could change if I improve the health of the soil, if I add some silica, if I space the trees out a bit better, perhaps some more airflow would help with the anthracnose. But generally, the way to fight this is going to be choosing a variety that is just more resistant. And that's, I think, that's it. Uh, people are going to probably want to spray their pomegranates. You could spray copper, which is a, a good organic uh, fungicide. But most, most of the time, I don't go out of my way to spray my fruits with different things, even if it is organic. If I can just instead avoid that extra work, that extra cost, um, I would rather instead um, just grow a variety that's meant to be grown or is more adapted to my environment, my humidity here. So those, that's probably something you guys had, had really not been aware of because I don't think most people are really pushing the zone and trying to grow pomegranates in, in more humid places. Definitely more of a desert-like fruit tree, but this one here also has split. So excessive moisture on the skin can absorb into the skin of the pomegranate, just like it does with other fruits, uh, especially the fig. And that fast absorption of water causes a, an expansion of the fruit. And that's why it's probably the main reason why fruits can split. Also excessive soil moisture. So if it rains a lot, if you're irrigating your trees a lot, and there's a lot of moisture in the soil, this can also occur more frequently. So these are just something I, I think to really pay attention to, these two issues when you're growing pomegranates in humid climates. Again, I don't think this information is really readily available on the internet, but it is, of course, rather interesting. And, and that's how I'm gonna be handling it going forward. So uh, I'm really impressed, by the way, with this pomegranate here in front of me. It's got at least four or five really large, early to ripen pomegranates, it seems like. I'll put the name of this variety in the description. It's so hard to pronounce. Uh, but this one here is supposed to be very tasty, just like the Parfianca. So instead of growing Parfianca, I'm probably gonna get rid of this, remove this tree until I can grow it under plastic or in a much drier environment. And I'll just stick with this one or some of the others that I have here and also planted in different areas in the property. So thank you guys for watching this. You enjoyed it. I've 
do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, let people know about this problem and share it with uh, some other people you know that might be growing pomegranates. Take care.